okay so this is our excel sheet for the footing design isolated footing design which is part of our spreadsheet and these values here are from the design criteria sheet or tab okay you may set the river diameter for a typical building a low rise building 16 mm is uh, is standard for a two story building you may try to use 12 mm okay let's say this is our initial section and our initial thickness and then column dimension in x and z this is required in order to compute for the punching okay shear on the footing and this bearing capacity is again from our design criteria okay then depth to top of footing let's assume it's two meters and then or 1.5 okay so we'll, we'll we will press uh ex i'll explain this further on a separate video but for now I'll say I'll delete these values first then let's say this one delete this you will observe that you, re you are required to input two types of forces the unfactored and factored remember that on sizing the footing you need the unfactored forces therefore in this result from our stat post-processing we must have a set of unfactored forces here unfortunately we do not have here so we need to rerun this model input a set of unfactored forces based on our spreadsheet uh, you can just dead load and live load input okay we'll close this I'll proceed with loading okay then another load case this our are this are our ultimate forces then I will add auto load combination I will choose AISC because most of the load combinations in AISC are unfactored all right so I'll generate load you will observe that this load factor here corresponds to dead load and live load right one and f uh, three load type three which is dead load load type four which is live load with a corresponding one factor therefore that means it's a dead load and live load I will delete some part of this because I do not use this values in concrete will discard this and I will just use this again we'll go uh, into a detail tutorial of this uh, on a separate video but for now this will do then add okay remember okay do you want to delete yes close remember that our AIS is started from 14 to 24 all right Okay, then save then analyze run okay then we'll go with the post processing now when this uh, dialog box opens I'll just choose 14 to 24 okay okay then I'm sorry 13 to down okay so that means I will choose this apply okay then let's investigate see with the node reactions which produces the most FX the highest value 
or rather FY okay. we're going global axis here because it's a node support so our maximum is 864 okay 864 kilonewton this one to check where is this node it says here that it's node 11 go with the results view value remove all and close okay then 11 there that is the node 11 it has a at 164 kilonewton so I can input here 864 that is our FY delete this first 864 right what is the corresponding MX and MZ okay you have MX and MZ 98 where is that? 98 and 0. Alright, I'll try 98. 98, 0. So then delete this. How about for the factored? Again, for the factored forces, this will be used for. I'll delete this. For. Uh, let's just say fa and factor. And this is factor. We need set of values for factored forces. This will be used for the design. Okay, this one will be used for the sizing of the footing. This one will be used for the design. Okay, then I'll just right click the result setup, then discard this and choose this set of factored forces apply there you go our maximum FY is 948 with an MX and MZ 26 and 0 remember 948 FY where is that ok 948 our MX is 26 and 0 all right there then you let's investigate so according here we are failing in load case 1 okay so we need to increase our footing say this 2 meters to demand capacity ratio is still more than one we need to add let's say 2.5 2.5 still more than one mm -hmm. I suggest let's say 3 meters more than one 3.2 3.2 1.35 okay. 3.5 3.5 okay then depth to top of footing say this is 2 okay uh, for this one I think we need to have a bearing capacity more than 100 no, it's not uh, this one is too small for a four or five story building okay okay let's proceed to the design criteria where is the soil bearing capacity let's say we have a 120 kPa okay because remember for a five story building uh, you need to have a very a very high bearing capacity if you have a low bearing capacity you need to either do a pile foundation or a ground improvement technique in order to gain a higher bearing capacity or embed your footing deeper 
okay to reach the uh, the bearing capacity with a higher strength let's have the putting f1 okay that's it's almost safe 3.6 3.6 okay that's it um, one okay 1.007 okay 3.8 3.8 okay that's it so again this is just an initial checking of the design because we just did a first a preliminary stud we can do much more on the analysis of this we can create a diaphragm what else we can uh, do a value engineering of this model so, okay oh, so then again the intention of this video is just to show the use of the spreadsheet all right so there it's safe now and then how about the result so you need 16 mm 22 bars okay so that's how the spreadsheet does the design of the footing 